The hardest thing about buying a Tesla is getting used to charging and not going to the gas station. Today, I'll be talking all about the different options for charging your car, as well as some tips on how to get over this learning curve. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm JQ Louise. If you're new here, we have a 2021 Tesla Model Y, and we've been sharing our entire Tesla ownership experience. Everything from delivery day to installing accessories, going on road trips, and just living with a Tesla in Boston. So today we'll be talking all about how to charge a Tesla, the different options for doing so, and just kind of, you know, our experience on getting over this initial learning curve. But before we get started, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you're interested in Tesla Model Y content and just kind of Tesla ownership content. We have lots of fun videos. Be sure to check out all of our links below. But for now, let's get started. All right, so let's start with the different options for charging your Tesla. So obviously the most famous of these options is supercharging. So supercharging is really one of Tesla's main features that differentiates the brand from other EVs. So right now, supercharging stations by Tesla are exclusive to Tesla owners. Now, Elon Musk has mentioned that he wants to open up the supercharging network to other EVs, but I'm sure that will be sometime in the future. Right now, that's not possible. But for now, supercharging is the fastest way to charge your car. You can charge your Tesla up to about 200 miles in 15 minutes at the fastest superchargers. Now, not all of them are that fast, but they're getting there. So supercharging is a key way that really makes Tesla ownership very easy when you're on road trips. You know, this is how you'll be filling up your car. Next are public chargers. These are through networks like ChargePoint and Electrify America, and similar to superchargers, you'll find these in convenient locations. They're located in malls, parking lots, popular tourist destinations along the highway, you know, in places where you'll either be parking for a while or need to stop during road trips. So, you know, these are very helpful, especially if you're in an area that doesn't have any superchargers. These are open to all EVs, so Tesla owners do need an adapter. It's the J1772 adapter that comes with our cars. So these are just as easy to use as superchargers. Um, and actually most of the time they're free in many areas. So, you know, this is another popular way to charge your Tesla. However, the thing to keep in mind is that for these, they are a lot slower than superchargers. Usually they're about 30 miles an hour uh, of charging speeds. And finally, of course, this is the other most popular way of charging your Tesla. You can in charge a Tesla home wall charger. And depending on how you set it up, you can have charging speeds of, you know, around 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour, depending on which breaker you install and the amperage that's going to that charger. So we actually did a whole video on this. So I'll leave the link to that below, but we'll be getting into, you know, kind of the overall uh, process of this in this video too. So keep watching for more on home Tesla charging. Now also, it is important to keep in mind that you can actually charge a Tesla with a normal wall outlet. So just the 110 normal wall outlet, your car does come with an adapter for this, but you will only get, you know, one mile an hour, two miles an hour, maybe three miles an hour um, charging speed. So this is kind of your last resort backup, um, but it is possible if you get stuck, and that's why we all have our mobile connector in the car for these rare occasions. Now, we've never had to do that, so I'm sure you guys won't have to either, but if you're wondering, you can do it. Okay, so those are the main options for charging your Tesla. Let's dive into each one and see how you actually do it and what kind of the pros and cons are of each type of charging. So this is obviously the most famous way of charging a Tesla, so let's see how it's done. One thing to keep in mind when supercharging is you should always map to the supercharger, that way the battery knows to precondition for fast charging. All right, so we're gonna supercharge. All you do is pick up the cord, put it near your car, press the button, it opens, and then just plug it in. And then we need to wait for this to turn green. And there we go. 
So we're at the supercharger and supercharger etiquette for V1 or V2 superchargers is that you should only park every other one because each thing actually splits it on the two that are next to each other. So we'll go show you what I mean. So this one that's next to us is 6A and we're actually parked in 6B. So that's what we mean by it splitting the charge. Alright, so today we're going to charge at this charge point charger. So this is what people call a public charger. So what you need are, there's a few things that you need. You need a charge point card, even if it's free. Um, and then you need your J1772 adapter. This comes with all Teslas. And then we actually got this public charger lock as well, so people can't unplug this. So first we're going to tap our card. And this comes up as the charging is free. So now this is the public cable. We have to put our adapter on here. So you have to snap it in and then you want to put the lock over it like this. Then we just plug it in. There are lots of free charge points at certain destinations, but many of them also do charge money. So you can see that right on the machine as well as on the charge point app. Keep in mind that charge points are not superchargers. These are about a level two charger speed. So you can see this one is charging at six kilowatts an hour. And at all public chargers, you will need to go into your Tesla app to stop the charging and to unlock the charge port. Also, don't forget to remove your J1772 adapter from the ChargePoint charger. To remove the handle, you lift up and out. We're gonna take the cord off of this. Again, we're gonna try that other one. It's all nice and new. Twist it. All right, ready? Let's go over to uh, the car. Take the button, press it. Ready? Blue. Blue, green guy. Look at that charging speed. So it should intelligently know we're gonna be charging at 48 amps. As you can see, it took a few seconds for it to get up to the 48 amps, but this is a very fast home charging speed. Here's the full breakdown on the charging speeds that you can expect from different amperages as well as on all of the different models. Having a home charger definitely makes having a Tesla and owning a Tesla very easy and honestly a no-brainer. So unfortunately for us, we do live in downtown Boston, so this actually is not our own home charger, it's a family member's. All right, so that is how you charge your Tesla with the different uh, options. So actually now that you guys know the ways that you charge your car, let's go into a few of the tips and tricks and some of the quirky little things that goes along with charging a Tesla. And we're gonna plug in. If you quickly tap the button on the supercharging cable 10 times, you can get a little light show. There you go, got it, nice. The next thing is sometimes charging is annoying. Part of the fun of being an EV owner, this person is parked in the only spot for the charger. This Model S can easily reach. We're gonna see if we can get it to the corner. This happened to us on a road trip to Newport, Rhode Island. So update, uh, the Model S is gone. A Jaguar's in its place. Really interesting, uh, the Audi's still there. Interesting that they chose to park here when this cord could easily have reached the front left of the car if they had pulled in that spot and it could have left this spot here. Instead, they chose to put it on the hood and plug into their car right here. Not sure that's the way I would do it. It would have been nice because we could have backed into this spot. Instead, it barely reaches if we're on the other side of the Audi. 
and it does not reach in that spot over there. There are several other methods of charging your Tesla, and many of these have to do with using another mobile adapter. So let's get into how to actually use these. All right, so this weekend we actually don't need to charge at all, except maybe we'll go to a supercharger on the way home. We'll see, probably won't need to do that. But in any case, what we wanna explain is how to charge on the road when you're at somewhere that doesn't have a built-in level two charger. So there's several options, one, is the standard household plug, two, 1430, and three, 1450. Luckily, we have an awesome parking space. We're by a pole. We have supercharged over 90%. We should be good to go around town and good to go to make it home. But in the case where you aren't able to supercharge or you aren't able to get to a public charger, it's great to have these adapters with you. That way you can either plug into a normal wall outlet or one of these more powerful wall outlets. So I highly recommend ordering extra adapters like the 1430 and the 1450 when you do order your Tesla. All right, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. If you're interested in Tesla content and EV content, we have lots of fun videos on road trips, accessories, Tesla lifestyle, all of that good stuff. So be sure to check out our links below and I'll see you guys next time.